Kicking It With Ken is sponsored by AE Door and Window. You know, the buzz isn't just about the Bengals. No, no. well put. Well there put. You go. How about that? Um, no, we uh, are taking a field trip today with Ken, kicking it at Happy Bee Acres. Uh, and, and we're learning uh, lots I, of new I, stuff this I week. I have to wonder, oh. did, did, was this on purpose that we could use this great buzz <laughs> metaphor right after the, the haircut of Joe Burrow? Or did, was, did it just work out that way? Or are you going blonde, Ken? Are you going to try <laughs> that look? <laughs> I might go by. It just all worked out. The news god smiled upon us and it happened. Julie and Steph, you guys know how that goes. It just all beautifully just bam. But happy acres. Uh, Erica, this is, I've been waiting for this since 645. We're suited. <laughs> we're, let's give the safety talk. Folks at home, we are good. We're protected. Uh, the folks behind us, they've been doing this for years, so they don't have the, the gloves on, but we're safe, right? By oh, all yeah, accounts. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so why are we over here? What do we got to do and, and show the folks at home? Yeah, so we're going to show you where the honey comes from, how to get it out of the supers. I also want to show you guys something that's really integral to our product. So our skincare line contains active levels of honey and something called propolis. Propolis. Where, like, where is that and what is so it? So it kind of looks like silly putty, but it's actually a resin that bees make to protect their hives. So it protects it from UV damage, mm -hmm. microbes, funguses. What else is propolis in? Not a lot of skincare products. So this is something we get out of the hive. We turn it into a solution. We put it in our product. This material right here can't be recreated in the lab. It's just amazing. It's got over 300 plant compounds yeah. collected by the bees put in here. And it's so good for your skin that it's actually pharmaceutical level in Europe. In and yeah, US, I was gonna say Europe's, Europeans are yeah, using it. So it's actually pharmaceutical grade for skincare. In the US it's used um, more of a homeopathic, mm -hmm. but this thing will heal all your skin ailments. And all of our products contain it. And we're gonna show you how and where you get it. Okay, cool. So right now they're smoking them because it's going to calm them down, right? Yes, yeah. And what kind of bees are these? These are just honeybees, European honeybees. Okay, what am I, just gl gl just pull it out? Yep. Uh, Touching it right there? <laughs> yeah, here, let me get you another one. Why, is that one too crazy? No, this one's all honey. Oh, okay. He wants to show you the good yeah, stuff. The honey oh, we is need closer some... to the central part of the hive. All right, can you explain, like, at the bottom is the, the, the babies are living there, right? So on the lower part, you get your brood and they're raising new new bees mm -hmm. you start to move up and you're going to get your honey your nectars your bee patties all that good stuff as you go up so towards the center is where they like to have some good honey one, supers like that just looks straight up very gently yeah. and there's code poop oh oh my goodness this is quite oh my goodness so you'll see right here <laughs> the propolis that we turn and clean out and put in our product you're going to see nectar in here that they're going to turn into honey or bee bread a collection of nectar and pollens here you're going to see the new eggs. So these are going to be new bees soon. What's that crusty stuff like burnt cheese? That burnt cheese is new uh, bees under there. They're, they're larvae and they're waiting to, to hatch into new bees. How many bees do you think is on this? A hive can have thousands and thousands of bees. Holy you know, cow. Upward of 70,000. And one hive can produce up to 100 pounds of honey a year. What happened if I drop this right now? Uh, you know, you have a, a triple mesh suit on, so you'll be fine. <laughs> but it might anger them. So okay, be careful. Okay, so I'm putting this in. <laughs> yep. How do we know when these are ready to make honey and, and ready for you know your products and all that? How do we know they're, they have done their job? So once they cap it, when the honey, do you have a capped honey? Yep. Once they cap it with wax, so the honey's gonna look different. Once it's ready, they're gonna seal it with wax. And that's how we know that that honey is ready. So this one too has too much moisture. So they put their enzymes and it's got lots of nutrients and good stuff for your skin and for your body. They need the right moisture level. Once that moisture ratio is hit, they're gonna seal it with wax right up here and that's how you know it's ready to harvest. I think this is the most dangerous thing we've ever done on air, but very safe. <laughs> All right, so coming up uh, some next. honey that's a little older right there. Yeah, a little darker. Uh, we're gonna talk about your product here, which is, what is it, how do you say that? So I have, that beach is my line. I have a day cream, a night cream, serum, and an eye cream, and you can get it at www.thatbeach.com. -E and we're gonna go in and show how we crank the whatever out and to make the honey and all that good yeah, stuff. Yeah, we're gonna show you how to extract the Next. Wow, this is so fun. Oh, maybe we shouldn't do that because we got to check. Uh, <laughs> into the studio we go. Guys, this is, I'm trying to think how to explain how it felt. I mean, it was kind of exhilarating and it was kind of like, don't drop it. And it was just like, uh, wow, yeah. all these bees. <laughs> Ken, uh, we didn't catch it. What is Erica's last name? Uh, Erica, what is your last Erica, name? Erica, what's your last name? Nomland. 
Nope. N O M E L A N D. And gotcha. she's also very smart. She's an entrepreneur, a professor, all these things that I'm like, I, you got to talk to me like I'm a kindergarten. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have interviewed her before, and it's amazing her whole background as a scientist. Yeah, and what she's, she's doing. smarty. We'll hear more about that next hour. Yep. Thank you, Erica. But still to come here on the Morning X MLS All Star Match happening tonight, and we're going to hear from the man who's calling the game. That's next.